All right, so good showing for Bronny yesterday. I think he shot like 12 for 12, you know, on like one of the drills at the combine. He did all right day one. Day two, we're going to get into it. Woes came out with a wild tweet. He said he's almost assuredly going to start in G lead and will pack G lead arenas next season. I don't agree with that. Um, Y'all know my opinions on that. I don't I don't think he's prepared, but LeBron didn't play 20 plus seasons to not play with his son. He's going to play with his son by any means. That's what he wants to do. That's how he wants to end his career. So I'm going to say this. Bronny's going to play in the NBA up until the point where he gets a decent deal to where like, okay, I can retire now. Bronny's straight. He's on a two-year deal. He won't get sent to the G. He could develop. I think he's going to wait till then. So someone said, we all know Bronny James will be drafted. The question is, which team will pull the trigger early because of his combine performance? Just watched Bronny James's entire NBA draft combine day one performance. And what he showed out on that court truly sent shockwaves through the arena. Sporting a 40.5 inch max vert that put him at sixth amongst all participants. Bronny also performed very well in the lane agility and the three-quarter court sprint yeah, he and fast then he moved hell. on to the shooting where he absolutely caught fire hitting 16 for 25 on spot up threes and then in the movement shooting he knocked down 19 for 25 the second best score of all participants and then in the shooting drill called side mid side he hit 17 for 22 good for 77 percent also second amongst all 70 plus participants they finished off with a few five on five and four on four reps and Bronny showed off his nice jumper once again my thing with the combine that i didn't like a lot of the reason Bronny got so much backlash this is the politics with basketball i talk about the nba is political it's just situational i feel like there's a point where everyone's good enough for basketball to where they could play at like a pro level or whatever level but it's just about do you get in the right situation for Bronny, i just thought if he wasn't lebron's kid I, he wouldn't get that invite they wouldn't even lick his way it was kids who are actually deserving to go to the combine like prime example the, the guard from uh nc state dj horn and even the big man dj burns they didn't get an invite to the combine they made it to the final four they didn't they didn't get an invite to the combine that's crazy to me every if you look at all the other final four teams everyone else went to the combine if i'm not mistaken those are two people who are deserving Bronny's team that make the tournament he averaged five points and he got an invite then those two kids that make it and there's a list of other people who didn't make it but those are two notable names that didn't make it that's my only problem with it as far as like the talent like y'all looking at it like oh well, he didn't average this amount in college he didn't do this that shit doesn't matter because it's political and it's situational in the first game Bronny played 19 minutes he had four points four rebounds the system is structured right now. These kids do get to play against some of the best. Something That's a tough here, floater. But he wasn't playing uh, at a level, and then all of a sudden he started to go to some regional. Those are his two buckets. I know of at least two or three teams outside of just the Lakers that want to schedule workouts and have meetings with Bronny James. Uh, but the Lakers have made it clear since the season ended. I know I've said it here. Uh, as well they want to bring back lebron james the narrative around Bronny james couldn't have been more different up until this point a few years ago we were expecting Bronny james to be the most intriguing prospect in the nba draft and all that changed. which is wild in itself is the moment he suffered a congenital heart defect but as a result of the nba draft combine and recent analysis about the 2024 nba draft Bronny james's future could be much more complicated than we think in the beginning lebron james told his son that he had one wish and one wish only i want to get to the nba i want to be on the same i want to be on the court with him i think that would be an unbelievable moment who do you want to play with Bronny is number one on my list that's dope he's number one on my list that i want that's to play with right when Bronny suffered a congenital heart defect lebron just happened to pull an old switcheroo to give you an idea one year ago lebron james was tweeting man Bronny's definitely better than some of these cats i've been watching on league pass today lightweight hilarious and as i think he deleted those tweets you know it'd be funny when like certain people you know when like a notable celebrity puts out a tweet that deletes it i'm like yo you're acting like anytime you tweet they don't screenshot what you tweet like lebron or, or somebody they'll put out a tweet then they'll try to take it back like one minute later i'm like bro you're like the most famous person on earth someone's gonna screenshot that you better off just leave it up like you, once you put it out there you can't delete it bro later he's saying can y'all please just let the kid be a kid and enjoy college basketball the working results will ultimately do the talking no matter what he decides to do if y'all don't know he doesn't care what a mock draft says he just works earn not given i really appreciate the lack of self-awareness from lebron james but it's been a very difficult year for Bronny james he was supposed to
supposed to go to USC. He was supposed to be one of the most dominant players in the entire country, or at least play a very important role for USC. A congenital heart defect took all that away. A congenital heart defect put his basketball career in serious jeopardy. The fact that he's even playing currently is nothing short of a miracle. But on top of deciding to come back and play, which in of itself was remarkable, Ronnie James put together a very terrible first season at USC. To give you an idea, Ronnie James averaged 4.8 points, 2.8 rebounds, and 2.1 assists off of 36.6 shooting from the field. And this is despite playing about 20 minutes per game. That's crazy. If that was any other kid, I, there's probably 100 kids who average those numbers. They wouldn't even get a look. We wouldn't even, we would tell them, yo, go get a job. But his three point percentage was, it was horrible. 26.7% from three. Every basketball fan unanimously agreed that Bronny could have used another year. It worked for Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell's first season at Louisville was practically the exact same thing as Bronny James's first season at USC. Playing in about 19 minutes, averaging seven points per game, shooting 25% from three and 44% from the field. Okay, so maybe not as terrible, at least efficiency wise, but one extra year at Louisville made all the difference for Donovan Mitchell. He was able to average 15.6 points per game, brought his three point percentage up by 10% to 35% and became a lottery pick in the NBA draft. Not rookie of the year though, because that belonged to Ben Simmons. But Bronny James's situation is so much different because despite his father saying, can everybody stop putting pressure on my son? He's under a lot of pressure to go into the NBA immediately. LeBron James is making history. Putting up the numbers that he was able to put up in his age 39 season has never been done before. The fact that you could go into the NBA and play with your 40 year old father while he's still averaging over 25 points per game and is shooting his That's career crazy. best from three points is an opportunity that no individual gets. So if you have the chance to go into the NBA and even slightly could make your father happy, then why wouldn't you go for it? And this sets the stage for where Bronny is right now. He's going to enter the NBA draft, but also enter his name into the transfer portal. Just the other day, according to Shams, Bronny James appears to be headed for the NBA draft and won't be pursuing a college option. So typically, fans don't really pay a lot of attention to the NBA draft combine. It's there, but you don't necessarily see players boosting their value into the top five or the top 10. As a matter of fact, some of the best players in the nation skip the draft combine, but for Bronny, it was make or break. Immediately the morning of the combine, Adrian Wojnarowski got to work, pumping up Bronny James's draft value to a very suspicious degree. And I believe this is probably the main reason why Adrian Wojnarowski has me blocked, because sometimes I feel like the level at which he goes to market some of these players is kind of suspicious, especially when we all trust him to the level that we do. And these are just theories. I still to this day have no idea why Woj decided to block me, but I'm assuming it's that. But I digress. Adrian Wojnowski tweeted out that ESPN sources with the Draft Express in the aftermath of his cardiac arrest and a procedure to repair a congenital heart defect nine months ago, the NBA's fitness to play panel has medically cleared USC's Bronny James to be drafted and play in the league story soon. I'm personally very skeptical about any player in the NBA playing when he has a congenital heart defect, but I'm not a doctor and these people are, so we're just gonna trust him. But you'll understand why I think Adrian Wojnarowski's pumping of Bronny James's value is a little suspicious. When asked why Bronny James could potentially go in the first, this is all Woj had to say about it. Yeah, Bronny James is gonna have an impact for organizations, not just on the basketball side, but potentially on the business side. He's almost assuredly gonna start in the G League. He will pack G League arenas, uh, merchandising, all of those make him an attractive uh, player, whether it's late first round or second round. Um, so I think certainly uh, his opportunity to play in the NBA is there. That game where Bronny and LeBron share the floor, that's going to do generational numbers for the NBA financially. So that's going to happen. After that is fair game. After that is fair game. I'm trying to tell y'all, that's what's going to happen. Time out, time out. We are drafting a player in the first round of the NBA draft just because he will pack G League arenas and because he'll sell G League merchandise. Yes, me, it's like, all about just money. Just a little test here. Let me know in the comment section down below if you would purchase Bronny James G League merchandise. 
guys. Or if you would go to a G League arena or a G League game just to watch Bronny James play. Personally, I can't imagine that being a thing. If you want to say the San Antonio Spurs may use one of their top 10 picks in a very weak NBA draft to potentially draft Bronny James and try to lure LeBron James over, I'll accept it. It's very far out there, but I'll accept it. If you wanted to back up that point by saying that this is one of the weakest NBA drafts in recent memory, some people are comparing the number one overall pick in this year's NBA draft to the equivalent of being able to select Tobias Harris or Derek Lively from last year's NBA draft. Damn. Which is a very solid player, but Derek Lively was the 12th overall pick in the NBA draft last year. I'll still accept it. It's a far out there theory, but it makes a lot more sense than saying Bronny James could be selected in the first round because he can pack G League arenas and because he could sell G League merchandise. But that's just my opinion on it. I respect anyone's take. Maybe I'm the one that's out of line. Maybe people love the G League and I'm just a G League hater. Maybe Bronny James could be the Caitlin Clark of the G League. With that aside, I have to admit, Bronny James had a remarkable NBA draft combine. I mean, he went viral on social media for a 40 inch vertical, which put him in the top three of the highest vertical leaps in the entire draft class. And on top of that, he was able to make 12 three-pointers in a row just makes me think that LeBron James has always been training Bronny to be his prototypical type of player. You know, a solid two guard that can play defense and hit the wide open three, which there's nothing wrong with that, but this was a very good showing from Bronny. I think the amount of publicity that Bronny James is getting, plus the stakes that come with potentially drafting him, meaning you could potentially lure LeBron James over, combined with the fact that this is one of the weakest drafts in recent memory, could entice a team to potentially select him in the first round but at the same time it wouldn't shock me in the slightest if Bronny James goes in the second round or goes undrafted altogether at the end of the day I think we're watching Bronny James's draft stock go up a little bit and I think what can happen with his storyline could be one of the most unprecedented things we've seen in NBA history I mean could you imagine if the Spurs decided to select him with one of their top 10 picks and lure over LeBron James as a result of that I know it's far out there but that'd be pretty insane could you imagine if the Golden State Warriors drafted Bronny James and then LeBron James signed a contract with the Warriors. The Lakers are constantly putting it out there that they would happily draft Bronny James. And according to Sham, so far, there's only two to three other teams that are really meeting with Bronny that are interested in selecting him that aren't the Los Angeles Lakers. I will say at the end of the day, if Bronny is selected with the 17th overall pick in this year's NBA draft, I think it's going to be one of the craziest moments in NBA history selecting a player that averaged less than five points per game and shot 36.6 percent from the field with a first round pick is absolutely crazy but i'm rooting for the man to succeed and of course i hope this story has a happy ending that shit will be crazy but i'm trying to tell y'all that just gonna happen bro i think he gets drafted someone's gonna pick him up trying to get lebron draft night gonna be crazy after Bronny is decided where Bronny's going no one's gonna watch the rest of the draft no one gives a fuck more than likely that's where lebron's gonna end up i'm interested to see if he goes first round second round doesn't get drafted you know we'll see what happens y'all let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section and um as always it's your boy